well, here's the question, right? So it says, how much is 168 centimeters in feet and inches, right? So as you can see, if you recall, um, in order for you to convert feet into inches, it's basically, you know, that one feet, right, or one foot is actually 12 inches, right? And on the other hand, you know that one inch is, or an inch is 2.54 centimeters. So we need to work our way backwards, right? So we have 168 centimeters, right? We need to convert this into inches first, and then from inches, we need to convert this into feet, right? So let's see what they said. I mean, I, I appreciate that they gave us this um, table of values here where we can actually find um, the measurements, right? But I think what I'm looking for is specifically how do we convert one foot into inches, right? Because one foot is actually 12 inches and I don't really see any units here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't say any units here. So one foot is 12 inches. And then if we have an inch, that's 2.54 centimeters. So maybe if they can have a unit over here, like a title, just so we know which way we're going. Okay, but let's see what they wrote. So they're saying you have a centimeter, which is equal to 1 over 12 times 2.54 feet, um, feet. And then you have 168 centimeters, which is equal to 168. And we're converting this to feet, right? So maybe we can illustrate that over here. Okay, so they're saying we need to convert 168. So we need to con to sorry. So we need to convert 168 centimeters into feet and inches, right? Okay. So we know that one foot is 12 inches, and then we know that an inch is basically 2.54 centimeters. So that's based on the table that they presented us. Again, I prefer if they would have shown us what the units are, and then. Let's see. Okay, so now they're saying that we need to multiply, right, 12 times 2.54, right, to get to feet. And that's that's actually right. But again, I think I would love to see the units as opposed to just having 12 times 2.54 because this is all about um, unit analysis, right, or dimensional analysis, depending on your teacher. So you would really have 168 to begin with. So this is in centimeters. And then because by looking at the units that were given, we can actually say that because this is in centimeters, this would be 2.54 centimeters because you want to cancel out your units of centimeters. And then this is an inch, right? So if you want to convert this to feet, right, you would have inches over here. So that's so we've used centimeters to inches, and then we would have to use 12 inches, and that's one foot, right? Does that make sense? So instead of having 1 over 12 times 2.54, I would better rewrite my equation into something like an inch over 2.54 centimeters, because I would like to illustrate that it's in centimeters, and then this is multiplied to 1 foot over 12 inches, because at the end of the day, I think when you're trying to learn this in class, right, in um, based on your teacher, they would actually like you to provide your solution. So you need to show your work. So that's why you need to have the units, right? Otherwise, you're going to lose your marks. Okay, so this is 168, right? And this is times 1 over 2.54. And this is times 12, right? So as you can see, this is 5.51. Yeah, this is about 5.51. And this is in feet, right? Okay, let's see what they wrote. Yeah, so they're saying that this is 5.512. Yes, it's right. So this is actually correct. Okay, so moving on to this, right? So this is 0 0.512 feet, right? And then they're just converting this into inches, right? So again, you can actually convert this 5.51. So because they had three digits after the decimal point, so let's just keep the 
keep that at, as 5.512 and this is feet, right? So they wanted to convert this into, so we have this into inches, right? So as you can see, we have one foot that's basically 12 inches, right? Let's see what they're trying to do. Yeah, they're trying to convert this into inches, right? So you have 0 0.51 feet, 512 feet. Okay, so I don't really see a point of converting this into, into inches because first of all, the 0 0.512, they're not really asking you to convert this into inches, right? Because it, it just goes back to the question, right? It says how much 168 centimeters is in feet and inches, right? So essentially, you don't want to convert this um, feet, amount of feet, into inches, right? Because the whole point of this question is to start from 168 centimeters and you want to convert this into inches. So in my opinion, I would actually start from 168 centimeters and just convert that into the following units, right? So I wouldn't even look at this, right? So, okay, so the best way to go and look for your units, right? So now we've found feet, right? So that means we're now looking into inches. So in that case, you would start base from your given, right? This is the rule in chemistry, in physics, um, any science that you need to do calculations. So you need to start with your given, right, 168 centimeters, and then you need to assess which is your end point, right? Because we found what this in feet is, right, now we just have to go into inches. So we know that we need to have 2.54 centimeters, so that's going to be in your denominator, and then this is one inch, right? And you can cancel your units, and that's it, right? Simple as that. Um, I don't really know why they had 0 0.512 feet to begin with, but this is the most straightforward way to go. So you would have 168 times 1 over 2.54. So this is actually 66.142. So this is in inches. Yeah, 66.142. So let's keep three digits after this, the decimal point. So you would have 66.142, and this is in inches. Okay, so let's maybe see. And by the way, this is approximately because I had to round things. Okay, so what I'm getting right now is 66.1, right? 142. So this is actually incorrect. It's not supposed to be 6.1 inches. So. Okay, so these. So this is their final answer. So they're saying in, in 168 centimeters, there are 5 feet and 6 inches approximately. Okay, so I would just go back to 168 centimeters, right? Um, and say this is this dimension. So this dimension, 168 centimeters, is in this um, feet. And you have 168 centimeters, this in inches, right? Unless they ask you um, differently, which was... Let's see. Yeah, because the way you're going to interpret this question, it could be two ways. The first way would be to separate 168 centimeters and convert that to feet, right? And then 168 centimeters, convert that into inches. Or what they mean is um, you need to express 168 centimeters in terms of um, feet and inches together, right? So if it's together, then they would have to use um, 0 0.512, which is right. Yeah, I think it's just a question, the way it's it's worded, I think it's very confusing because you can think two ways, right? So, but if they were looking at this together, then yes, you can take 0 0.512 feet, 
right? And then you would have to convert this into inches, right? Because technically, if you're thinking about a person's height, right? When somebody says you're five six, right? You would say that this is approximately 168 centimeters, right? And I think that's what they're trying to deliver. But if that's the case, you're combining the two, right? Because feet and inches are two different units, right? Which makes it confusing. So you can actually use that as well if that's how you're going to interpret this question. So you would have 0 0.512 feet and convert that into inches because this is basically your um, decimal numbers, right? So you would have to convert that into inches and then you would just say this is five, right? So it's five foot and this is basically six inches. Does that make sense? So yeah, this question, um, the way they answered it is right if you're combining the two. Because when you read it for the first time, it seems like they wanted you to find 168 centimeters in terms of feet alone and in just inches. Okay, great. So let's see. So let's just make a comment. So this is just my own comment. Okay. So we can actually say that um, this question so this question right so this question how much is 168 centimeters in feet and inches can be interpreted in two ways right in two ways. So it's either the first one, which I thought, um, looking for 168 centimeters in terms of feet and inches, which means it's two different units. Looking for 168 centimeters in terms of feet independently of in of inches, right? Or vice versa. And then on the other hand, we can actually say that you can assess this question based on combining the two units of feet and inches as an entity, right? I.e., right, looking for a person's height. In terms of feet and inches. Okay, great. So that's my comment, right? There's two ways you can interpret this question. Looking for 168 centimeters in terms of feet independently of inches as a unit or vice versa, right? As a unit. On the other hand, you can assess this question based on combining the two units of feet and inches as an entity, right? Looking for a person's height in terms of feet and inches together. Okay, great. Solution is correct.